So my name is Russell Tell and welcome to another video. Now this is not the, the weekly video I'm promising, but it's a video that I wanted to make, so this is on the side, so take it as you will. Um, I was at Toys R Us yesterday and Monday, and I found out that I had, they had a, quite a few interesting deals, so I just want to show you that what I got and how you can get them too, okay? So here we go. First up, my Toys R Us near me has been doing this for a very long time old Star Wars PC games. So, they had, at the beginning, they had Star Wars Jedi Knight, Star Wars, that RTS game, I can't remember the name. They had Star Wars Battlefront, um, they had Star Wars Galaxies, and they had one more, I forgot the name. But they had another one. I can't, I can't remember, but I picked this one up, Star Wars Battlefront. Guess how much it was? It was two ninety eight. It runs really well on my computer, perfectly even. And it could probably even go online. I'm not sure of that though, because this this game does online by GameSpy. I don't know how I don't know how good GameSpy GameSpy is. Now that Steam is taking over the, the digital computer game online thing, so it's a great game. It's just the online might not work, but for two ninety eight, who can go wrong really? So what about it? The disc is in my computer. I would show you the disc, but oh crap! Here's the disc. Never mind. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So that's that. Next up is, I don't know if I made the, made a right purchase, but, uh, Gear Monkey, Nintendo DS case. I thought it was for original DS. I thought it was the first, for the first DS ever, that, that ever came out. But, I look on the case, and it's for Nintendo DSi and Nintendo CS Lite. Considering this thing was only a dollar, how much did it lose a dollar? It's not bad, but I really have no use for it, so... That's alright, I was only a dollar. Next games were buy one or five, get one forty percent off. So I bought two on Monday, went back and bought two on Wednesday. So the first two that I bought were these two. Yes, you're probably gonna laugh at me, but let me talk first. Women's volleyball championship PS2, Riding Star PS2. Now I knew this game has some sort of value. I knew because I saw it on eBay a while ago and I was like, I gotta get this. So, looked on eBay yes uh, the day before yesterday, thirteen dollars on eBay. I got it for five, so there's profit right there to be made. The next game, Riding Star, I already told you, forty percent off, five. So it came to it came to like two seventy eight or something like that. Not bad for a sealed game. Now, as you can see, I put plastic on the games. That's because you leave the games sealed. The plastic wrap, it just, it just, it gets soft. It gets, it's like, it, it gets really easy to rip off. So, I leave these games in my closet. The plastic, the plastic wrap, the original plastic wrap, plastic wrap will come off. So that's why I have a lot of comic, comic like plastic comic sleeves because I'm a comic book collector as well. So I take the comic sleeves and I tape them all around the game. So it's an extra layer of protection. So now I can put these away and not worry about the, the original plastic wrap coming off. Yes, I know it's a little OCD, but that's what I do to keep these games in great shape. The horse games, I got this because the horse games for Wii, if you look them up, a, a good lot of them are going for a lot of money. This one isn't right now, but I'll just have to play the waiting game and see. The next two games I got for buy one or five and get 40% off, I'm still here, by the way, are... Jumper Griffin Story. Now, this game is cheap on eBay right now. This is going to have to be like a long-term a long-term long profit thing. I'm going to have to hold this. A long-term investment, so to speak. Jumper the movie was a failure, but we'll have to see. I'll have to hold on to this. We'll see about this. This game, Konami Kids Playground. I don't know about this game. I looked up on eBay. There's uh, about four versions of this Gunami Kids Playground, and I got one. So I may try to find the other three for like cheap and buy them as well. But this this is getting rare. This is getting rare. You probably use. You can't find this. You can't find this like in stores anymore. You can find this on eBay and such, but it's getting rare like publicly. So this is another long term investment. We'll see. Toy Pals Fun with Numbers for recommended for ages two to five. Uh, I don't think I can play that. I'll get bored right away. This next one, boom, hardcover, 
Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. Oh, baby. First party, Collector's Edition. Right away, two terms that stick out. There's no barcode on it, though. But there was a post on it with the barcode, so... I looked at the price, I asked the, one of the cashiers, $7.98. A little bit too high for my taste. But I went to Best Buy, and I used one of their computers. My phone doesn't have internet, so... I looked this up, it's going for about 17 So, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna sell it right away. It's Nintendo first party. These things go up. So I'm gonna keep this, see how it goes. The pages are... The pages are brilliantly... Brilliant, but the pages have no creases, none whatsoever. It's got it's like gold in here and it's like a gold cover too. So this was like a, a unique find for Toys R Us, like just hanging like this with a post on the cover with the screw number, like the barcode number that they scan. I have to get it because it's profit right there. I'm gonna keep it. It's probably gonna go up considering it's collector's dish. I don't I rarely see like Nintendo like strategy guides. Like collector's edition, I might add. I've seen Nintendo strategy guides, but collector's edition for Legend of Zelda on DS Spirit Tracks, you don't regularly see that. So this was a good buy, profit to be made here as well. My next two purchases, profit was not made. Profit probably will never be made, but Zuzu pets. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing at me right now. I know you are. Two for a dollar. I said, how could I go wrong? 50 cents each, right? Look on Amazon. A penny. New. So, I'll probably, like, donate these. I don't know. Two for, two for a dollar, though. 50 cents each. Hams uh, scorpion tank and spider skull tank. They don't include no, like, hamster toys to go with it. So, they're just pieces of plastic, really. In my opinion. Because I have no use for them. And I don't have a relative or a friend that's introducing these. So, I think we'd have to donate them. Overall, a good experience. Like, I got, like, these games were, like, $5, like, two, for two of these. And the next two, they're sealed, by the way, were, like, two seventy eight. You don't find sealed PS2 games for two seventy eight these days. You find them on eBay, but they're at least four and change. So, I'm going to keep these. Excuse me. See if I can make a profit on them. And these, I'll probably donate. Star Wars Battlefront, I'm already playing. I love this game. It, it was two ninety eight. How could you go wrong? And the strategy guide, the crazy Legend of Zelda strategy guide, I'm keeping this. This is like this is like a unique find, and I don't want to have to put that memory away, like right now. So, thanks for watching. the The, the weekly video for next week is coming. So. And that might be a Sunday Man video. We'll see. So thanks for watching. And have a nice day. I don't usually say that, but it just came from my mind right away. See ya.